Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And this is the final episode on the autumn clock change, helping you to navigate that. So I'm gonna share with you today some really important things about this clock change and recap for you the different approaches that I have shared in the past three episodes so that you're fully equipped and are ready to make a decision on how you're gonna navigate the autumn clock change. Okay, okay, so first up, this autumn clock change, it's a pickle. Not quite such a pickle as the spring one, let's face it. We would always rather gain an hour's sleep than lose one, hey? So I just wanted to share with you a few facts that you may not know, um, but to help you see the significance and the um, impact that this measly one hour can really have on our lives. Okay, so first of all, when we change clocks around, um, just an hour's difference can cause a lot of havoc and particularly in the spring when we spring forward uh, we see an increase in the following days after the clock change there is an increase in road traffic accidents fatal accidents on the road um, there's reports of higher incidences in the workplace and injuries uh, we've got um, cardiovascular and neurological related complexities as well, all that have been shown to increase and rise on those days after. The impact on our sleep is huge. But what's um, I think fascinating, and this is a really fascinating fact, is that in the autumn clock change, some of these things have been shown to reduce. So for instance, strokes, um, heart attacks, uh, road traffic accidents, they've actually been seen to fall down to unusually low levels, unusually low levels on the days following the autumn clock change, which suggests, and studies have shown that it suggests that the extra hour is really, really beneficial. And so losing an hour can be detrimental, gaining an hour can be beneficial. Either way, moving it around can really mess us up. But as a parent, do we really gain an hour? Oh, I think the days of the um, autumn clock change meaning like, yeah, an extra hour in bed is just not true when you when you become a parent. You don't get that anymore because there's a good chance that they're going to wake at the same time anyway because they take some time to adjust and then you actually end up losing losing an hour and feeling worse because the, the number on the clock is worse. <laughs> so uh, it's it's more difficult for parents and that's why I'm here to help you. So I want to give you now that you understand the importance of this and you understand how it's not just an hour and yeah, it doesn't matter because it really does matter. Um, I'm going to remind you of the three approaches that I have given you in the past three episodes. Go back and watch them if you would like more detail. I am literally just going to give you a very short recap. The first is the gradual approach. This is where you're going to move bedtime later by 15 minutes from Wednesday to Saturday, the four nights leading up to the clock change. So 15 minutes later for four nights. The second option is the halfway, the meeting in the middle where we go for just 30 minutes later on Saturday night just 30 minutes later with bedtime for the autumn clock change. And the third one is just all in one go. And it's where on Saturday night, we let our little ones stay up an hour longer and they go to bed one hour later than usual on the Saturday night. They're the three ways that you can approach this depending on whether your child is super sensitive to time differences, super sensitive to um, their routine and their wake up times, you might wanna take it gradually if they're, and if they're very alert. If they're more easygoing, they're more flexible, more adaptable, then you might wanna go for the meet in the middle or maybe you'd want to go for the whole thing and do all in one go if they're really, really flexible, perhaps a little bit older as well. I hope you have found this little series of clock change tips helpful. We would love to hear from you if you have any questions at all and please be sure to grab your sleep resource. There's a link for you here and that's going to really help you right now for free so go grab that and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny and we look forward to seeing you again real soon.